Hi everyone, Despawn O'Neill here with another photo tutorial for you. We are still continuing to have not so good weather here in Trinidad and Tobago for astrophotography. So, as it pertains to getting started, if you're a beginner, this will be definitely a tutorial for you. I am going to be doing one of the easiest astrophotography targets that there is, and you can do it without any special equipment, and it is the moon. We are going to be capturing the moon all right and i will also show you the equipment that i use to capture this photo okay so um the equipment that i use is my sony a3000 mirrorless camera i used a 135 millimeter pentax manual lens together with it and i also use a two times converter and what that does is that it magnifies the effective focal length by two so instead of 135 my focal length went to 270 and then of course you have to multiply that um, by 1.5 which is the crop factor of the um, DSLR camera that I have it, it's an APS-C with a crop factor of 1.5 and that will give you the total length and uh, I just put the length in there alright so that's the equipment that I use I also use an intervalometer in order to avoid camera shake and if you don't have an intervalometer you can use the timer on your camera and I will explain that in a little bit and of course i use a tripod in order to get the picture of the moon i set my camera to um highlight or to show a yellow tinge once my uh lens achieves focus so while looking through the viewfinder and i see that yellow tinge around the moon i know that my camera is in perfect uh, focus so i leave it there and then i take pictures using the intervalometer to avoid camera shake right so now that i was able to get the pictures i import it immediately into gimp and we are going to be processing that photo right now so this is the photo that we are going to be processing this is raw raw file uh, let me bring it back here this is a completely raw file straight out of the camera no editing done at all all right and this is what our moon looks like straight out of the camera not too bad you can actually see a little bit of details here uh, you can see the man in the moon with a shot put in his hands here you can see the man in the moon clearly defined and a couple of um, some meteor strikes that uh, that is so characteristic of our favorite well our only satellite or natural satellite i should say right so now that we have imported the image into gimp i am going to duplicate the image and i did that here you can also right click on um on the image itself in this column on the right and you can go to duplicate layer or you can go up to image and click duplicate or press ctrl d whichever floats your boat all right so the first thing that i'm going to do i know that i did not get any camera shake with this image simply because i was using uh, my tripod and i also used the intervalometer to avoid the camera shake as much as possible but in Trinidad and Tobago, my friends, we had a lot of Sahara dust, and that could afford, that could afford, um, account that could account for the fuzzy image that we see here. It is because we had a lot of Sahara dust in our atmosphere. So what I am going to do is to go to filters. That's the first thing. I'm going to go to enhance, and then I'm going to go to sharpen. I'm going to click sharpen and immediately you can see that GIMP knows that I want to do some sharpening so it gives me a preliminary sharpen here I can click the X 
so you can see it did give me a little bit of sharpening but it is the moon it is a rock that floats around our planet and so we don't want it to look smooth i'm going to carry the radius up just a little bit not too much because we don't want to get any terrible um ghost fringing on the outside there right and then i'm going to carry the amount up a little bit a little bit a little bit i like to carry the sliders up so that they can match each other just like so great and looking at our moon it looked like nothing much was done but if we press the whoo it's a big difference this is the before here is the after great so we have a great more detail coming out onto our moon right so at this point here now what we are going to do is we are going to play around with some lighting to get the best uh color here right it's on a total black background this is how it looks here and uh, it is because our camera focused on the moon and uh, the moon was so bright reflecting the sun that we had to use a shutter speed of about uh, 125 or to 150 thereabout in order to uh, achieve some detail on this rock right so we're going to go to colors and i am going to go into brightness contrast and let's uh, do some tweaking here notice when i i click the contrast it, it actually takes away some of, of, of the shadows here so i'm going to go up to brightness a little bit and i'm going to add some brightness don't be afraid to add some brightness because when we post this on our social media uh, we are going to see um, social media actually gives it a little dumb a, a little dull feeling all right so let's go to contrast right now the brightness here i find while it gives it a, a sort of lighter color um it, it, it it's more of a gray sort of look well, we don't want that look so let's click okay let's go back to colors again and i'm going to go to exposure right and i'm going to carry up the exposure a little bit now please remember that we are using the raw file for this edit all right so that affords us a lot of latitude with regards to the recovery of colors and, and so on right so right so this is before this is after right so we have put some exposure in so let's go back now to the contrast section right uh, the contrast really adds right not too much this at this a tad so dark in it great right so we have our moon there and it looks great so the next thing that we are going to do we are actually going to go into some astrophotography um tweaking by going into colors and we are go to, we'll go to curves and we are going to be using this line here to finish do our edits right now don't be afraid to, to, to experiment a little bit but just an overall idea of how the curves adjustment work um on the right hand side is where we have our highlights and on the left hand side is where it's going to be a little bit more darker so if i carry up here see it's getting lighter right or brighter i should say and if i carry down here it's getting darker right so what i'm going to do i am going to click in the middle here and i'm going to do a kind of parabolic sort of all right let me reset this right so i don't have the the anchors there holding me back my anchors are on the ends so, okay. right. so what this is doing here it is actually giving us giving our moon a bit more character 
Uh, if we go in the opposite direction, right. it looks bright, but I find that in terms of the details, uh, we don't have much details coming out. Um, so that's why I'm going to do yeah. See if I can go here. Set it uh, to come back here. Right, so this section here is, is getting characteristically darker, which I which I like. Um, that man in the moon section there. And uh wanna just add a bit more light to it. It looks sort of weird, but you play around with it. That's the idea I, I want to get you. You play around with it until you can get your 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 image the correct light and how, how you would like it. Because what I want to do is to get the darks darks, the dark sides dark and the bright sides bright. Let's look at it before. Right? It's kind of almost washed out there, but let's look at the after. Great. so it has more characteristics there so don't be afraid to, to play around with it a little bit All right, so that you, you get to see Great. all right that doesn't look too bad i am going to go back to filters again i am going to go into enhance i'm going to go to sharpen Right. And we have a little bit of more artifacts coming in there. But remember that this is going on social media. Right? So um, you don't have to worry too much. Uh, okay. Step a little bit. The moon needs to look rough and rugged. Not so. Let's look at the before. Let's look at the after. Great. Right. And then I'm going to go back into colors again. I'm going to go into exposure. And I'm going to just send this up a little bit. Great. And so that is how our moon is going to be looking. Let's minus it out a little. Let's reduce it a little bit. I always like to work on the moon um, close up. Right? So if it's close up, when you zoom back out, the, the normal size, that's what we're looking at there. So let's zoom back out to the normal size, right? And then finally, I'm going to go into crop. And I'm going to crop this figure in. So it's actually going to look really, really great. Right? So all of this negative space here, I don't need. I want to really focus on, on the, the, the moon itself. Uh, don't crop it in too, too tight. There we go. Press enter. All right. Something I'm going to do here, I wouldn't advise you to do it too much. I'm going to scale the image upwards a little bit. Right now it's 2095 by 1265. Um, I have it linked, so I don't have to worry about the bottom or the top. It's going to um, expand linearly, which means that it's going to keep the, the, the ratio. So I'm going to just send it up a little bit. And what that does is that when you scale the image upwards, um, you have more pixel density. I hope that makes more sense. <laughs> All right, so let, let, let's go here. Great. That's the picture of our moon. And that is what we are going to be exporting to social media. So we are going to export this in a JPEG format. All right. Before we export it, I want to see how far our editors come. All right, let's go back a little bit. This is our final photo. Don't look too bad, but let's see where we came from. This is before. Woo! A blur. And this is after. How did we do? This is before. 
and this is after all right so i trust that you were able to just follow along with me it was a simple edit nothing too 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 bad all right it is a simple edit and as i said you can play around um with with the the, the image and so on and see the best maybe you can do plenty much better than me all right but at least you get to learn more of the gimp program and the capabilities you know it's a very powerful program you know it's completely free you don't have to pay a monthly subscription like you do with photoshop and mostly everything that you can do in photoshop you can do right here in gimp all right so let's export our photograph we're going to export it to our desktop by clicking file export as right now it's in a raw format or a tif format there almost the same thing all right and let's go to source and we're gonna go down to jpeg click jpeg and we are going to come up here and we're going to choose desktop see desktop right there you click that and we're gonna export that to our desktop it's asking me for a confirmation yes we want to keep our exif data exported to the desktop and it's done all right let's look at one more how far we have come from our original photo and our finished photo plenty more detail in the rock if we expand it a little bit right you can see a whole lot more detail in this rock here and now we are ready to export to social media all right so let me um let's export it to um let's say facebook and i will get back to you in a little bit all right guys so i just used the same very photo that we just finished and as you can see as i said on social media it actually darkens the photo a little bit and so this is how our photo is looking photo is looking i am posting it to my astro photography for beginners group that i am in all right and i'm gonna click post right here it's posting guys it's posting and there's our photo and that is our finished photo it's on social media and from here we can export it to instagram uh, we can send it to many different places all right so i glad that you were able to join me on this fantastic um, um journey all right i'm this one o'neill and please like and subscribe for more tutorials like these love you guys and clear skies